Hello students. In today's video, we are going to understand the concept of kinetics of elimination of drugs. Now this video is 15th in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now as we all know that after a drug is administered, it is absorbed, distributed, metabolized and finally removed from the body. So elimination kinetics play a very important role in the removal of drug from the body. Now drugs are eliminated by first order kinetics and zero order kinetics. Now let's uh, first uh, talk about the elimination of drugs by the first order kinetics. Now majority of drugs are eliminated uh, by the first order kinetics over the therapeutic concentration range. Now if a drug exceeds this therapeutic range, it becomes too high. The concentration of drug becomes too high. It can start getting eliminated from the body by the zero order kinetics. But here let's consider that the dose of a drug is within the therapeutic range and the drug is being eliminated by the first order kinetics. So the rate of elimination of drug is directly proportional to the drug concentration. Now very important to remember that in the first order kinetics a constant fraction of drug and not a constant amount. So a constant fraction of drug is eliminated in unit time. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say 50% of the drug is eliminated every hour. Now uh, look at this table. Initially when the drug is administered at time t is equal to 0, plasma concentration of drug is 8 mg per liter. Now look at this uh, time versus plasma concentration curve. Time is 0, plasma concentration of the drug is 8 mg per liter. Now after 1 hour, at time uh, t is equal to 1 hour, 50% of the drug is removed. 50% of this drug is removed. So the plasma concentration becomes 4 mg per liter. Now rate of elimination, rate of elimination of drug is the change in the plasma concentration over change in the time. So uh, change in the plasma concentration here is the difference between 8 and 4 that is 4 mg per liter and change in the time is the difference between 1 hour and 0 hour that is 1 hour. So the rate of elimination of drug after 1 hour is 4 mg per liter per hour. So after 1 hour 4 mg per liter of the drug is present in plasma and 4 mg per liter per hour is the elimination rate. Similarly, after 2 hours, plasma concentration of the drug becomes half of 4, that is 2 mg per liter, while the rate of elimination is 2 mg per liter per hour. So that means the rate of elimination of drug is directly proportional to the drug concentration. So after 3 hours, plasma concentration becomes half of 2 that is 1 mg per liter and the rate of elimination also falls. The rate of elimination is 1 mg per liter per hour. After 4 hours, plasma concentration of a drug becomes half of 1 that is 0.5 mg per liter and the rate of elimination is 0.5 mg per liter per hour. Uh, similarly, after 5 hours, plasma concentration becomes 0.25 mg per liter and the rate of elimination becomes 0.25 mg per liter per hour. Now, um, very important to note that the concentration of drug does not become 0 because here uh, a constant fraction of drug is eliminated in the unit time. Now, uh, if... Uh, if we uh, plot a graph uh, between uh, the time uh, time in hours versus uh, plasma concentration in milligram per liter, uh, if we plot uh, these uh, values and we uh, plot a graph, what we see is this that we get an exponential graph. Now very important to note that uh, majority of drugs are eliminated by the first order kinetics over the therapeutic concentration range. And in the first order elimination kinetics, clearance remains constant and the constant drug fraction is eliminated. Now here in this example, we have considered that 50% of uh, drug is eliminated uh, per hour. 
Now let's talk about the uh, zero order kinetics uh, of elimination of drugs. Now for some drugs, elimination kinetics changes from first order to zero order over the therapeutic range. Now drugs like phenytoin, tolbutamide, theophylline, warfarin, ethyl alcohol exhibit zero order elimination at high doses. That means these drugs are predominantly eliminated by the zero order kinetics. Now very important to uh, remember that a constant amount of drug, a constant amount of drug is eliminated in unit time and therefore the rate of elimination remains constant irrespective of the drug concentration. And apart from this, clearance decreases, clearance does not remain constant, clearance decreases with increase in plasma drug concentration. That means elimination decreases with increase in plasma drug concentration. So therefore these drugs they can cause toxicity. Now look at this table. Let's consider the uh, zero order elimination kinetics of a drug where a constant amount of drug is eliminated in unit time. Let's say 2 milligram per liter of the drug is eliminated every hour. So at zero time when the drug is administered, uh, let's say the plasma concentration is 8 milligram per liter. Rate of elimination of the drug is 2 milligram per liter per hour. Now at uh, first hour, uh, that means after one hour, uh, since 2 milligram per liter of the drug is eliminated, a constant amount is eliminated, the plasma concentration becomes 6 milligram per liter. Rate of elimination remains constant, that is 2 milligram per liter per hour. Now at the second hour, again here, 2 milligram per liter of the drug is eliminated so the plasma concentration becomes 4 milligram per liter and the rate of elimination is constant. Now at the third hour again here 2 milligram per liter of the drug is eliminated so the plasma concentration becomes 2 milligram per liter rate of elimination remains constant that is 2 milligram per liter per hour. Now at the fourth hour the plasma concentration becomes zero as 2 milligram per liter of the drug is eliminated. So 2 minus 2 is 0 and the rate of elimination against remains constant. So here the plasma concentration becomes 0. Now if we plot these values in a time versus plasma concentration uh, graph, then we get a linear graph. Uh, we get a linear graph. See here at uh, time 0 plasma concentration is 8. At time 1 hour plasma concentration is 6. At time 2 hour, plasma concentration is 4 milligram per liter. At the time 3 hour, the plasma concentration is 2 milligram per liter. And at the time 4 hour, the plasma concentration becomes 0. So very important to remember that uh, a linear graph is obtained for, a, for the drugs uh, that are eliminated by the zero order kinetics. Clearance uh, keeps changing. So uh, clearance decreases with increase in plasma drug concentration and therefore these drugs can cause toxicity. Very important constant amount of drug is eliminated. In this example, we have considered that 2 milligram per liter of the drug is uh, eliminated per hour. Elimination remains constant. Elimination rate remains constant. Elimination rate here is 2 milligram per liter per hour. So uh, this is in brief on uh, kinetics of elimination of drugs, uh, drugs that are eliminated by first order kinetics and uh, zero order kinetics. So uh, please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for students from their examination point of view. So kindly do not use this information for the clinical purpose. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.